Okay, so if you don't have a spring tool, you might want to be careful. I do have a spring tool, but I elected to uh, do something else. And uh, just separated, uh, yeah, that hurts. Hey, John here again. Uh, so I blew a dry belt on this uh, 97, 2000, whatever it is, uh, Scott's slash John Deere mower. Uh, so you're gonna have to drop the uh, the deck and the uh, you know more the mower deck and the, the belt. And so this is straight up in the air, so it's easy to work on. But uh, if you're gonna be laying on the ground doing it, well, it's gonna be challenging. Anyways, uh, so that's the transmission pulley, and right next to it is uh, this idler pulley. I've loosened that to basically the last two threads, so it's just dangling there. Uh, and if, if you're going to replace your mower or your drive belt, then take that right off. But this drive belt just disintegrated, so there's nothing left. So I'm just going to let that dangle because uh, I need I need to get around that uh, you know where the frame frame is there. So now that it's dangling, I can push it on a little bit. And the next thing you need to do is. Uh, Let's see if I can get this, uh, this, uh, where is it, there it is, that steering bar needs to be unhooked from, from, uh, here, uh, I think it's a 13 on the bottom and a 14 millimeter on the top, disconnect that, and this particular mower is missing the mechanism for the parking brake, uh, if yours is still on there, you know, I think it's a J bolt that goes up through. Uh, you got to loosen that bolt, and then I believe the whole thing just slides to the slides to the left or the right or whatever, so you can uh, slip your belt around. That I'm unsure of. Uh, I've disconnected mine years ago, along with all the <laughs> safety uh, switches and all that crap. Uh, so, and also you need to remove your. Uh, uh, your double pulley there up on the top for. Uh, this fella here, where are we, uh, you know, remove that, so then, uh, then we can uh, start working on uh, the routing of this thing. It's kind of uh, problematic, I don't know why, you know, there's other machines that are way easier. So I'm going to start at the, uh, the top, I guess, I'll put that, uh, uh, hold on a second, let me reposition this camera. Right, first thing I'm going to do is... Uh, Get your belt there. You know, you got to feed it under this uh, brake, clutch brake here. Now, again, if you have this mechanism uh, for your for your parking brake, I can't remember. It's, it's been so long, but I think there's a I think there's a perpendicular uh, rod, a bolt you can take off, and that'll allow you to slide uh, slide it sideways so you can you can fit it around there. I'm not I'm not quite sure. I know there's a spring involved. I just don't, you know, this is a hydrostatic, uh, hydrostatic transmission. There's no need for me to have a parking brake. So I believe the last time this, again, this is a 97. I think the last time this belt broke, I just, you know, took that right out. So anyways, so if I remember correctly, you got to start this up here. Yeah. And this, uh, I don't know if you can see this. The reason you have to uh, disconnect this steering rod is because you got to go around this over first. First, you got to go underneath it and then around it. Uh, whoop! What we've done is go around it this way and then sneak in, uh, sneak in like this. Right? So basically, you got to uh, put this uh, up here. You know, now I can pull this up to yonder and uh, my belt. Pull it back in. It's a keyway in here somewhere. Get your, uh, your pulley on there. Right. I'm not going to put the bolt in yet. It keeps still off. But now I'm around the uh, the top pulley, and so I think the best uh, course of action is to go. Whoop. See this uh, belt keep? You got to 
you got to be mindful of your belt keeps getting inside. There's a belt keep here. See how it's uh, dangling? This one here, I don't know if you can see that or not. But this center one, this spring has to be relieved because when it loops around here, you're going to need that tension off of there. And like I said, I, this one's loose, so I can actually come down. See if I can uh, show that piece. So this is the transmission. I'm going to come down in here, grab the back side of that pulley. Like I said, this is dangling. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to tighten that up. Just go around it. Alright, so that's that. Unlike like your propeller, your fan cooler. Alright, so this has to be, uh, like I said, make sure everything is uh, the door here. about the slack. Alright. Now, I don't know where I'm looking at here. Yeah. Adjust this a little bit. So this has to be back so uh, come down straight, grab the uh, the pulley here. I don't need to see this. So basically, we're out here. We're on the top pulley. Comes down straight. Grabs this idler. We want to be above here, but as you can see, we're not gonna. Uh, it's too. It's too tight. So we're gonna have to uh, drop. Well. Right, so once you get it to this point, uh, you know, because this thing is uh, under a pretty heavy-duty spring here. Uh, you can elect to use a spring tool and try to draw it down You know if you hook everything up first of all, this has got to be loose this pulley and You can hook everything up. You can bring this up here it, it, Without the spring on here try to use a spring tool uh, But I think because I already cut my finger uh, This is the best way to do it as far as uh, You know if you don't have a spring tool for sure uh, before you put this belt on I want to uh, draw this down and then uh, hook this up. But again, this has got to be loose. See how this is on a slide? Uh, we need to hook that over there. So I'm going to use the old uh, boop string and uh, shoe string, whatever you got. I'm just going to wrap it around my, uh, my cut hand and then, uh, you know, as I'm pulling it down. Feed this guy on there. Relax so. And then uh, call that a day. And then we can uh, get a pry bar in here or whatever you need to do. Uh, it, 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 it's actually tight the way it is. Alright, so my camera ran out of uh, uh, its space to film. So basically, here's what we got. This, this, uh, it can be <clears throat> adjusted down if the belt is loose and then you can tighten it there but this is a brand new belt so uh, it's always under this spring tension here so it's you know it's a hydrostatic it's always got pressure so I just tightened it down it was fine but if the belt loosens up or over time it gets to you know stretched out that's what this uh, slide is for adjusting it so after that you just hook up your steering mechanism and uh, tighten down all the pulleys and that's it so thanks for watching Hope that helps somebody else develop routing here.